Hey everybody and welcome to another Jamobi tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I wanted to talk about uh, a couple of new additional tests that are added through a module called more tests to allow you to do additional uh, assumption checks in various base level analyses like t-tests, ANOVA, so on and so forth. So let's jump into that one. So first and foremost uh, I'm using the most recent updated version of Jamobi 2.2.3. You can grab that on their website. Okay. So let's open up um, the modules and let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to go ahead into uh, manage installed because it's already uh, there. And interestingly, one thing to note about this that I just that I just discovered, hey, new thing for this video that I just discovered is that if you open the uh, modules box here, dialog box uh, of what you have installed, close it and then reopen it, it's going to be exactly where you put it, um, where you've scrolled to, because look, you can see that I'm scrolled all the way down here. And so we're talking about more tests here. And this is from the Jamovi developers, Jonathan Love and Victor Moreno. And so you don't necessarily have to have these, but what this does is adds additional normality tests. And we'll talk about the uh, Komolgorov, Komolgorov Smirnov, and then as well as the Anderson Darling tests. So I'll open up some data and I'll run a, we'll run a t-test through the data library. Um, well, and if we, if we need to open up an ANOVA, then we will. And then homogeneity of variance, which is Bartlett's additional test. So we'll talk about each of these tests. And so it adds them to the module. So this more test does not have a module up here at the top. Okay. And you'll just find it in the, in these uh, additional things here. So let's open up some data from the data library. Uh, and so I'm in the data library right now, as you can see data library. Uh, and so what I want to find is just some ANOVA. All right. So let's find an ANOVA one, uh, RTFM read the, um, frustratingly awesome manual, <laughs> read the flipping manual. All right. So we've got, um, we've got, uh, what a is, I believe is just the participant number. Let's rename that. Shall we? because um, that's, oh, I've got my mic in the way of my keyboards. <laughs> that was not good. All right. So we've got their grade on a score, whether or not they attended and whether or not they've read. Okay. So you can probably guess where this one, this canned example is going. So let's go into uh, ANOVA because what we're going to do is a two-way ANOVA. And under assumption checks, we've got homogeneity and normality tests. So we should get our, uh, we should get our uh, Komolgorov I probably am saying that so badly. All right, so let's let's put in our fixed factors here, and let's put grade in. I love it how it says you need to have a scale variable, but it accepted my uh, nominal variable because I didn't rename it. Okay, so here we have our ANOVA. Okay, so we have um, whether a main effect of attendance has anything to do with grade, and it appears so. Reading, whether or not it has anything to do, reading the flipping manual uh, has anything to do with reading, and you are uh, scoring high, and that is clear. Uh, and then, but there is no interaction. You don't need to attend and read. Apparently, that's strange, but. Okay, be that as it may, that's fine. So let's get our homogeneity tests and our normality tests, and you can see there they are. So what are the Komolgorov Smirnov test? Well, normally people will use the more common Shapiro Wilt test, okay, which gives you a statistic and then gives you a p value as whether or not you've uh, violated. The Komolgorov Smirnov test is this very similar thing. What it's doing is it's a non parametric test of continuous one dimensional probability distributions. It kind of looks like that. This is from Wikipedia. It's very hard to see, but it kind of looks like that. Okay. So what you're going to be doing is comparing a sample with a reference probability distribution. Okay. Um, or you can compare two, uh, two samples together, which is a two sample chaos test, but so we don't know. So as per Wikipedia here, I'm going to quote here. The question for this test is what is the probability that this collection of samples right here could have been drawn from that probability distribution? Okay, so the answer here is what you are testing is the null distribution. Okay, so the, the, the probability that you are pulling from this null distribution. And so if this is this value is less than your, you know, whatever your assumption p value is, we'll say 0 0.001 or something like that, we've violated the test. Same thing with Shapiro Wilk. Okay, so it's a similar thing, it's a similar question. Okay, so the higher this test statistic, likely the lower this p value. Okay, so that is the Komolgorov Smirnov statistic, and you might need to use it depending on the kinds of data you are using. It's a non-parametric test. It's a non-parametric test. Okay, be be aware of that. So the one thing that I will mention. So if we were to pop this into this, right? So sorry, dark mode. This is the cumulative probability. So this is the null distribution. It's the model cumulative distribution function, right? You, as you can see, the blue line, which is taken some steps here is the sample CDF. Okay. And the reason why it steps like this is because of sample size. 
And the black line here is the difference between the two, right? So how far away is your black arrow? And that's what that test is, is asking, okay? So that is the Komolgorov Smirnov line. And now the Anderson Darling is a similar test, okay? Given a probability distribution, okay, you get a statistic. So you're testing critical values versus of a sample versus a normal. What well, let me so the Anderson Darling test is a statistical test whether a sample is drawn from that same probability distribution. So if you are doing this as an assumption test, so essentially if you take the Z test video that I um that came on the channel a little bit ago. Is that distribution of your sample drawn from the actual population? That's the question that is being asked to be tested in the Anderson Darling test. And so what you find here, again, is a statistic and you are testing it against the null hypothesis of that uh, they come from the same distribution. And that's what you want to know. You want to know if they're coming from the same distribution. And so, again, you get a p-value of whether or not they come from the same sample distribution or from the population distribution, excuse me. Uh, and so if this is significant based on whatever your normality test is, then you're good or you're not good. Do you either violate it or you don't violate it, right? So you can imagine that if we pulled this uh, grade sample, right, this measurement of grades that didn't exist in the population, then we would violate the Anderson-Darling test here. You can see more tests, results provided by more tests. So there you go. I don't have a fancy graph for you on this one. Now, Bartlett's test, as you can see here, could not be calculated. f statistic could not be calculated. Bartlett's test, I'm not entirely sure why? Because I did try to run a, um, I did try to, not on this one, sorry. I did try to run a repeated measures ANOVA and um, could not get, so Mockley's test of diversity is fine, but I could not get um, Levine's test for any of these because there's no between subject factor, that's right. Um, but for Bartlett's test here, between subject factors, a homogeneity variance test, so Levine's, it's similar to Levine's that it's testing homoscedasticity if multiple samples from populations with equal variances. So multiple samples, okay. So that might be the reason why I don't have multiple samples here. I only have the one sample. Groups or samples, although it could say groups. I do have multiple groups here. I'm curious as to why, if anybody has any ideas as to why Bartlett's test isn't working in this two by two ANOVA, that would be lovely. And or and or why it's not working in the repeated measures ANOVA um, either. So if you want to do this, this one, this is uh, a uh, this is the Broca um, repeated measures from the learning statistics with Jamovi. There you go. One way repeated measures ANOVA here um, from that day library. So you have, all you have to do is add that module to get the data that I've worked with in both of these windows here. So the, the RTFM and the BROCA. So that's how you do those. That's what the more test module is all about. Just these three different tests, Komolgorov, Smirnov, Anderson, Darling, and Bartlett's. If you like this video, consider leaving a like. If you like this content, consider subscribing for more of these kinds of tutorials. And plus just other random stuff too, because I like technology as well. So stay tuned for those kinds of things. Thanks for watching.